welcome to scotland the land of enchanting landscape and rich heritage imagine you are walking down the streets of edinburgh the heart of scotland music fill the air the soul steering sound of bagpipes a group of traditional highland dancers add enhancing rhythm to the scottish spirit this vibrant city steeped in history is where ancient meet the modern the edinburgh castle stand majestically on an ancient volcanic rock offering a breathtaking view of the city as you wander down the royal mile centuries old architecture tell the story of scotland's past but beyond the city lies the scotland's true essence the land of untouched beauty serene lakes like loch ness surrounded by misty mountains captures the imagination so whether you seek history or breathtaking landscape or simply want to immerse yourself in a culture like no other scotland welcomes you with open arms so let's learn about this place and its people are you ready scotland is located in the northern part of the island of great britain it shares borders with england and surrounded by atlantic ocean north sea and the irish sea now let's look at the most important symbol of scotland scotland's flag is known as the saltire or st andrew's cross it features a white diagonal cross on a blue field the design dates back to late 8th century it is associated with st andrew the patron saint of scotland the cross represents the christian martyrdom st andrew who was crucified on an x shaped cross known as saltire the blue background has evolved over time Initially the flag was simply a white cross on a dark background but King William the 1st added the blue field creating the design that we recognize today this flag is an integral part of Scotland's national identity and you will see them on official buildings sports event and various celebration throughout the country it stand as a symbol of Scottish heritage St Andrew's legacy and the nation's enduring spirit. Geography. Scotland's physical geography is incredibly diverse, offering a range of landscape that captivate both the locals and the visitors. The highlands cover the majority of the northern and western parts of the country. This region is characterized by its rugged mountains, deep valleys and numerous freshwater lakes. Ben Nevis is the tallest mountain peak in the United Kingdom and is located in the Gambrian mountain range within the highlands the central belt known as the lowland lies between the northern highland and southern uplands this area features rolling hills fertile farmland and major cities like edinburgh and glasgow scotland is surrounded by numerous islands including inner and outer Hebrides of the west coast and Orkney and Shetland island to the northeast each island group is unique with stunning coastline ancient ruins and unique cultures Scotland is famous for its beautiful lakes and rivers freshwater lakes like Loch Ness Loch Lomond Loch Tay are set among the breathtaking scenery and surrounded by myths and various legends Several rivers also flow into Scotland and the River Tay is the longest. Scotland's coastline stretches over 10,000 kilometers and is dotted with sea cliffs, sandy beaches, rocky coves and picturesque fishing villages. During the last ice age, glaciers sculpted Scottish landscape leaving behind distinctive features like U-shaped valley and quarries in the mountain regions. Scotland is home to impressive sea caves and fjords, particularly on the west coast. One notable example is the Fingal Cave in the island of Staffa. The weather here is unpredictable and varies depending on the region and the time of the year. The climate is influenced by the surrounding seas, particularly the Atlantic Ocean. Scotland is famously associated with rain. 
rainfall is common throughout the year showers can be frequent and sometimes heavy especially in the western and mountain regions the west coast tend to be better than the east due to prevailing westerly wind the average temperatures are relatively mild with the coastal areas experiencing cooler summers and mild winters compared to the inland and mountain regions the average temperatures in the summer ranges from 12 to 20 degrees celsius while the winter temperatures typically hover over 0 to 6 degrees celsius during the winter snowfall is common in the highlands history scotland has a rich and fascinating history that dates back thousands of years its ancient stone circle like kalanish stones whispers the secret of the past first evidence of human settlements date back over 10000 years modern day scotland was originally inhabited by various celtic tribes romans attempted to conquer the region in the first century but they weren't successful scotland began to take shape as a unified nation in the 9th century under first scottish king Kenneth the first the middle ages saw scotland's expansion and struggle with its southern neighbor england the war of independence in the 13th and 14th century led by figures like william wallace and robert the bruce were pivotal moment in scotland's history the battle of bannockburn in 1314 where scott won significant victory against england remains a symbol of national pride in 1603 scottish king king james the 6th inherited english throne and became king james the 1st of england and united the crown under stuart dynasty however it was only in 1707 the united kingdom of great britain was formally established through the act of union merging the scottish and the english parliaments industrialization and scottish enlightenment in the 18th century brought significant advancement to various fields contributing scotland's intellectual and economic growth the 19th century witnessed an influx of scottish emigrate to different parts of the world especially during the highland clearance where many were forcibly displaced from their ancestral lands in the 20th century scotland played a crucial role in both world war 1 and world war 2 and the post war years saw decline in traditional industries like coal mining and steel manufacturing Scotland's quest for greater autonomy and delegation ended in 1999 when the Scottish Parliament was reconvened after nearly 3 centuries of suspension. In recent times, question about Scottish independence has been a prominent issue. With referendum held in 2014, where a majority voted to remain in the United Kingdom. However, the topic remains a subject of ongoing debate and discussions throughout its history. Scotland has retained its own identity with its own traditions, languages, and symbols such as bagpipes, tartans, and tissels. Today, Scotland continues to thrive with its rich blend of history and modernity. People and culture. Scotland's population is about 5.5 million. English is the main language. Scottish Gaelic remain an essential part of the country's linguistic heritage and spoken in some region. The majority of the population identify themselves as White Scottish, but there are also smaller ethnic group including Asians, Blacks and others. The predominant religion is Christianity with Church of Scotland being the largest denomination. Other religions include Islam, Hinduism and Sikhism are also present. Scotland has a rich and diverse culture that is influenced by its history, tradition and the geography. 
Scotland has a strong tradition of music, dance and storytelling. Traditional Scottish music often features bagpipes, fiddles and folk instruments. Scottish Highland dance is a popular traditional dance. The tartan patterns represent the different Scottish clan hold significant cultural importance. Kilt made from tartan fabric are iconic symbol of Scottish identity and are often worn during the formal events and ceremonies. Traditional athletic events are held throughout Scotland featuring competitions like carpet tossing, hammer throwing and tug of war. It celebrates country's physical power and heritage. Scotland is known for its whisky production. Scottish whisky is famous worldwide and dist distilleries can be found across the country. The cuisine include dishes like haggis, a traditional savory pudding and various seafood delicacies due to its coastal location. They also host numerous cultural festivities including Edinburgh International Festival and Edinburgh Festival Fringe which attract artists and performers from across the globe. Economy. Scotland's economy is diverse and has several key sectors such as oil and gas, renewable energy, financial services, tourism, food and drinks, manufacturing and technology sectors. North Sea Oil and Gas Reserve play a significant role in contributing to both export and domestic energy supply. Scotland is also a leader in renewable energy, particularly in the wind power. The country has been actively developing wind farms and investing in other renewable sources like hydroelectric and tidal energy. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, is also a major financial centre with strong banking and financial services sector. Tourism is an important contributor to the economy. The food and drink industry, including the whisky production, is a valuable part of its economy. Scotland's diverse manufacturing sector produces goods like machineries, electronic and textiles. Scotland has a thriving technology and innovation ecosystem with startups and research institutions contributing to advancement of various sectors. Thank you for watching. The next video is going to be in Northern Ireland. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And again, thank you for watching and meet you in the next video. Bye.